strange, strange day. Oh. What's up, internet? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that cool. So, this is my first time uh, filming with this camera. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video. Uh, hot sauce review, I guess you can call it. I don't know. Whatever. Um, can we get makeup and uh, hair in here, please? Uh, let me fix my hair. What do you mean? I don't have anybody. You son of a... No. <laughs> Never mind. Just can't get any help these days. Anyways. <laughs> so... Um, it's been a while since I've, like, recorded anything, um, and it feels a bit weird, so we'll see how this video goes. Uh, I was already messing around with the camera, maybe I'll upload those outtakes or something, and, um, yeah, uh, the hot sauces I have, um, I, the, the, First two are actually already used up. <laughs> That's how good they are. Um, you know, what? I'm gonna close this door real quick. There we go. It's a little better. Uh, that's my dad's. Uh, oh, that, that, that way. That's my dad's uh, trophy room. So <laughs> he used to run a lot of marathons and stuff. But, anyways, um, here is the first, uh, hot sauce, and you'll see it's pretty much all gone, so, <laughs> but it's from Torch Bear Sauces, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the artwork on it, it's really cool. I guess I don't have to be this close to the mic because it seems to pick it up. Um, see, I wonder if I could set my camera to autofocus. Oops. Let's see. Ah, it's already on autofocus. There we go. This thing's a little touchy, but it's a good camera from Logitech, uh, 1080 webcam, and it's all I can afford. <laughs> so, this is a Tar Nation 37. Watch out this. Hot enough to hurt you. Yep. And uh, what I like about these guys, oh, they're from uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, they have nothing but natural ingredients. <laughs> stuff that you can read and stuff that you know. And here's the other one. Torched, Torchstone Tie. Say that five times fast. Mm hmm So I have to like put things really close to the camera for it to autofocus. There we go. Kind of reminds me of like Tenacious D and uh, that video game that I've been playing with Jack Black. Ah, I can't remember the name of it right now. It's like a game about m metal and um, you play like a character, you play a roadie. Ah, why can't I remember the name of that game right now? Oh, well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is this is probably by far one of my favorite uh, hot sauces ever. Um, it's just so flavorful, and uh, um, it's just the right kind of spicy. See if you could see the uh, ingredients. This one's even harder to see, though. <laughs> It's got Carolina Reaper, Scorpion Pepper, 
all kinds of good stuff. Crushed red peppers. It just makes this very, um, almost like barbecue-ish, but it has like a sweet taste to it. I think it's, um, yeah, the ip apple cider vinegar. Um, and it has lots of good stuff like garlic powder, mustard powder, and lemon juice, chili powder, honey. Oh, that's probably what gives it the uh, sweet taste as well. And, uh, yeah, man, my hair. Ooh. Trying to record this while there's still some sun out. And, uh, you know, use the uh, natural light. But, anyways, um, I'm also drinking uh, some of my favorite sodas. <laughs> Just a little plug of that and then, too. But I also had uh, some new uh, hot sauces that I... Seems like it's getting darker. Uh, uh, oh, computer shut off. <laughs> it's weird that my, my screen will shut off while it's in use. So. Mm -hmm. mm. I say the, the graphic design is not that great. <laughs> It's just kind of simple, and, but you know you don't judge a hot sauce alone by the graphic design. But I do have some that have really cool stuff on it. So I have a chip here. Um, another plug. <laughs> These are like the best chips ever. And they're all natural as well, so. Um, I'll try a little, like, by itself, and then I'll try a little on the chip. So. Ooh, that smells really good. Very, um. Well, it has, like, a curry smell to it, obviously. It has a Jamaican style curry powder. Let's see the ingredients. Oh, Scotch bonnet pepper mash. That's good. And habanero peppers. See, this has xanthan gum, which is like in so much stuff, and that's why I like Torchbearer, because um, you know they don't use that. I mean, I, I don't mind it. It's probably not good for you, the amount of hot sauce I, I eat. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm going to try it on the chip. And, well, shit, I spilled a little. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely good. I'll try a, like a little swig. That's just how I roll. Yeah, it has a bit of a kick. The Scotch bonnet peppers really come through. Um, it's not too heavy on the curry. Mm. Oh yeah, that would go great on like um, chicken or you know whatever uh, you know you eat if you're vegan or uh, if you eat meat or whatever. You know, there's a a company called Atlas Monroe. They make the best vegan chicken I've ever had. Like, just um, it's crazy how good it tastes. Um here is the strawberry serrano. This one has uh, actual strawberries, pineapple juice. This one's going to be like sweeter. 
but it has that pepper mash as well. Pepper mash is actually hotter, so. Yeah, it's just like what Link said. It tastes like a strawberry jam, but spicy. I wouldn't have liked that like way back in the beginning when I first started liking hot stuff. But um, now I like like sweet and savory, but mixed with spicy and you know I've been trying lots of different stuff so and I'll try it with the chip see do 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 I'll probably spill a little again nah no, I got it this time Yeah, it gives it like a sweet <laughs> and savory. It's probably be good on like crackers and stuff or something or um I don't know, like a probably like fish tacos as well, shrimp tacos. Uh, I like it though. It's very good. And um so that's the fat cat and torchbearer sauces and that's pretty much it for this video right now so signing off see you next time which is actually real soon because i'm going to record something else <laughs>